In this video, we are going to find out how to determine the multiplicative inverse of the different field elements of any Galois field. In order to determine that, first we need to know what a multiplicative identity is and what a multiplicative inverse is. Multiplicative identity is a non-zero field element of a Galois field such that if we multiply that particular field element with the other field elements, we will get back the other field elements itself. So, for a binary Galois field, the multiplicative identity is 1 because we know if we take the product of 1 with any other non-zero field element, we get back that element itself. Multiplicative inverse of a field element is another element belonging to the same Galois field such that the product of those two elements give us this multiplicative identity. Now, multiplicative inverse we are going to find out only for the non-zero elements. Now, if we take the example of the gf2 to the power 3 which we already have constructed, the non-zero field elements are 1 alpha alpha square alpha q alpha to the power 4, alpha to the power 5 and alpha to the power 6. 1, we already know 1 into 1 is 1. So, the multiplicative inverse of 1 is 1 itself. Now, what should we multiply with alpha such that we get back 1? We know alpha to the power 7 is 1. So, alpha, if we write like this alpha into alpha to the power 6 that is going to give us alpha to the power 7 which is 1. So, we can say that alpha to the power 6 is the multiplicative inverse of alpha. Similarly, alpha squared into alpha to the power 5 that gives us alpha to the power 7 which is equal to 1. So, we can say that alpha to the power 5 is the multiplicative inverse of alpha squared which is basically we can write it like this 1 by alpha square that is alpha to the power 7 by alpha square which is alpha to the power 5. So, by using similar reasoning we can say that alpha to the power 4 is the multiplicative inverse of alpha cube over here alpha cube multiplicative inverse of alpha to the power 4 multiplicative inverse of alpha to the power 5 is going to be alpha square and multiplicative inverse of alpha to the power 6 is going to be alpha. 